So the question was, did you do the um, coding challenges in a different language? Yeah, um, I did everything in Python up until the last test. Um, I was one of the people who got accepted into a cohort with less than a month's notice. And so I was learning Ruby syntax up until like the last day. And um, that definitely made, I think, the first week a little bit harder. But um, I think your number one focus should be on how to like write and structure good code and think programmatically. Um, if you can like, if you can do that and solve the problem, that's better than like struggling in a different language. Um, so like I did not actually really start taking up Ruby until just before taking App Academy. I got into App Academy using Python. Yeah, to, um, to, to be fair though, um, uh, Python is very similar to Ruby in a lot of different ways. I think it, I think it very much depends on what language you do the coding challenges in. Um, because I, I know people that um, did all the coding challenges in like C and um, oh, what is it? Uh, not C plus plus, Objective C. Um, they were you know iOS developers previously, um, and uh, and I know that they really struggled through the course because it's such a different language. Um, but Python, on the other hand, is very similar. Um, so uh, yeah, I would I would say uh, that. It's probably worth your time to learn Ruby um, to to some extent uh, before the before you start doing the coding challenges, unless unless it happens that the other language that you would do it in is Python, and then and then you're probably fine actually. But um, but uh, any other language, and there are many. I mean, I you know I could have done it in R, and that would have been a disaster. So on that note, like I probably wouldn't rec recommend it, especially if you already know Python. Like Maggie said, they're very similar. Um, I went from like MATLAB, which is barely a programming language, to learning uh, um, Ruby in a couple of weeks. Your time is going to be a lot easier. Uh, but you're going to reap a lot more benefits from learning Ruby because you're going to get the next coding challenge. Eventually, you're just postponing the ine inevitable. <laughs> um, and that's also a rule in general for application processes when you're applying for a job. Even though sometimes they say, um, oh, coding whatever language you want, reality is you should probably figure out what they code in, do it in that, because otherwise they're going to either, it's happened to me, I've had to grade out homework in PHP. I was like, I've never done PHP, so I'm going to grade you really hard. Um, or I'm, if I can't understand it, I'm going to pass you over. Uh, or I'm going to find the one person in the company that knows, that knows PHP, which happen to be, usually happens to be one of the senior people, and they're going to code you, hard, like, grade you harder on it. Um, so for Python specifically, I would say, you know, spend a couple of weeks. It's not going to be that different, uh, but it's you're going to reap most of the benefits, a lot more benefits than not doing it. Any other questions? <laughs>